In this video, we're going to talk about three HVAC upgrades that every system should have. And at the end of this video, there'll also be a link to some other videos about how you can get the best HVAC for your home. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already. And if you're tuning into this channel for the first time and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It's a free way that you can show support. And also, we put out daily and weekly content on how you can get the best HVAC for your home. So if you find this content helpful, subscribing is a great way you can support the channel and it is much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm before we get started. Now the first upgrade that is an absolute must for every system is going to be a high efficiency airflow filter or a higher MERV rating filter box. And I'll explain what this means because if you've watched other videos on our channel, we've talked about you know not using high MERV rated filters because they actually restrict airflow too much, but that's actually only if you're using a standard one inch thick air filter. Now the minimum or the standard filter box that we put in on most installations for our systems involve the ability to add up to a two inch filter rack. Oftentimes the filter rack is set up in a way that you can even add four inch rails if you want, which would allow for a four inch thick filter. And although you might think, hey, you just said a one inch filter reduces airflow too much, isn't a four inch thick filter going to reduce airflow? flow four times as much. The opposite is actually true. And the reason is, is because the pleats are deeper on the filter. And so therefore you actually have more surface area for the same size filter. So let's say you have a 16 by 25 inch filter is your normal filter size. If you put in a four inch thick filter, the pleats being four inches deep actually gives you more surface area, which allows for number one, better filtration because you actually have a larger filter material. And two, it's less restrictive because even and as that starts to get clogged with dust, you technically have a larger surface area for air to pass through the filter. And therefore, these filters tend to not only do a better job of filtering out dust or any contaminants that are in the air. Now, that's going to be specific to the MERV rating of the filter because higher MERV rating filters actually remove more dust and particulate matter because it's a finer micron rating of the size of particles that can actually fit through that filter will be diminished with higher MERV rated filters. So typically, we recommend anything between a MERV 8 to a MERV 11 filter. If someone's running just a basic one or two inch thick filter, we always try to push for a two inch filter just because it's going to give you a little bit better airflow. And this is especially true on bigger homes or homes with longer duct runs where maximizing airflow is gonna make a big difference, not just in filtration comfort, but also in comfort from the standpoint of temperature and making sure that the rooms that are furthest away from the furnace or the air conditioner, which is in your mechanical room, are still getting adequate airflow even even though they're a long distance away. And that comes down to optimizing airflow. Now, number two, and this is also something that comes down to optimizing airflow. And this is actually a service that we currently don't provide. We're actually gonna be providing this in the future. So if you're watching this channel years from now and you're interested in this, we might be selling it by then, but currently we don't offer this service yet. However, it is something I am a huge fan of and I have seen it work wonders and that is AeroSeal. Now, if you're not familiar with what AeroSeal is, AeroSeal is a duct sealing system that essentially ties into your ductwork and it pushes air through your ducts. There's a way that they set it up, but basically it takes about six to eight hours. They come in, they hook up a, a system to your HVAC that forces a material that was, the way they pitch it, they say it was developed by NASA, but basically what happens is they're sending air through your home and they're blocking off all the vents. And what happens is the air that is coming out of the system actually has a material in it that's a food safe material, which I'm a health nut, so I love non-toxic items, but it's basically like bubble gum or it's a similar consistency to bubble gum, but it's airborne. And it basically will, because all of the vents are capped off while the system is running, it is forcing air through all the nooks and crannies and all the cracks in your ductwork. And it's sealing up your ductwork, thus the name AeroSeal. And the reason I love this is that the only time that you can really effectively seal ductwork, if the ductwork is inside the home and inside the condition space, this is not true for attic installations, but for something that's inside the condition space, Anytime you, after the uh, drywallers have come in and the carpenters and everyone's done and they've put in flooring and they put in drywall, the ductwork is all concealed in the walls. And so unfortunately you can't go in and seal up the ductwork how you would normally do it with uh, something like Pookie or Mastic or foil tape or something, which foil tape tends to wear out over time, which is why you can use one, both, or a combination of Pookie and Mastic. But this has to be done on new system installations This can when the ductwork is all exposed. But what 
happens if you live in a house like most people do that was built you know in the 90s or 80s or older and this was before duct sealing was part of best practices for building codes and so you have really leaky ductwork well aero seal is something where you can come in after the fact and you can retrofit seal your ducts and we have seen amazing airflow improvements because this duct sealing material just by hooking up to your ducts can actually seal up gaps up to five eighths of an inch which I believe is about the size of a penny if I'm not mistaken somewhere around there if I'm off a little bit by that so sue me but basically that's about how big five eighths of an inch is just to give you a visual so a pretty good size hole you're going to be able to seal up with that aero seal product and it does you know it is not a cheap add-on item but it is something that will definitely improve comfort because it will improve airflow and so you'll have less air just kind of seeping out in between the joists or in between the beams or you know into the attic if you have the duct work running through the unconditioned space in the attic if it's in the attic you could technically go in there and do it the old-fashioned way like I said with mastic and pookie and just seal it up but aero seal is a great system for retrofit sealing your ductwork after the fact and we love this because in addition to providing an increase in efficiency and energy efficiency the biggest benefit is that you are going to be a lot more comfortable because you're sending the air where it was designed to go which is to the rooms that the ductwork is servicing versus having it leak out throughout the house out of the leaks within the ductwork and the third and final absolute must have as an HVAC add-on is actually two things and I say it's two things because they're a one is a must for certain climates and the other is would be a must for kind of all climates and so I'll talk about the first one that is more of a must for dry climates like Colorado and that is a humidification system now if you live in a very dry climate someplace like Las Vegas or Colorado or Utah or any of the high desert areas where you get very low humidity especially in the winter months where it can get down for example in Colorado it can get down to 15 18 percent uh, relative humidity inside is what we see on a regular basis when we're looking at humidistat readings when we're installing a humidifier a humidifier or a whole home humidifier is a great way to increase the comfort in your home and it does a lot more than you might think now the biggest benefit and this is something that my wife loves about it is that they number one it will stop dry skin or reduce the effects of dry skin because when you're in if you've ever gone to let's say Florida for example for a week and you know and you've gone there from a dry climate like Colorado and you've noticed how nice your skin feels afterwards because you're in that thick humid air you might sort of feel a little slimy maybe after a week you're done with the humidity and you want to leave but the bottom line is it's actually better for your skin because your skin is more moisturized than it would be when it's getting dry and cracked in Colorado in addition dr having dry air one of the most uncomfortable things about it is that's what causes static electricity so anytime we put now and I'll take that back that's not what causes static electricity but that is a side effect of dry air is static electricity and this presents itself when if you notice yourself shocking yourself every time you touch a light switch or if you're putting on you know a cotton shirt or something in the morning and your hair reacts you know with static electricity when you're putting it on that's going to be something that's a result and can be rectified with a whole home humidifier there's two types of humidifiers which we touch on in other videos one's a steam humidifier and the other is a bypass humidifier steam humidifier is kind of the way to go if you're looking to really add humidity to your home they do a very good job when we have people that have lots of high-end wood furniture or wood floors or things that they're looking to protect especially like guitars or pianos this helps keep uh, pianos in tune longer we always recommend a steam humidifier because you're going to be able to put out much more humidity and it's just the best type of system for your home a bypass humidifier will kind of take the sting off and reduce some of the static electricity that you might be experiencing by not having a humidifier in the first place so adding a humidifier is great now if you already live in a climate that's super humid like Texas or Florida you're not going to need to add a humidifier so obviously don't even think about it because it's already humid there year-round in fact you get a nice break from the humidity maybe in the winter or on the shoulder months and it's well welcomed and so you actually don't need to worry about humidification or adding humidity to the air but one thing that all systems can benefit from is some sort of air purification or UV air purifier these are things like Remy Halo is one of the products that's out there and produces a UV light and the biggest benefit to UV air purification from my perspective especially if you have a lot of kids in the home or you have lots of just people in the home in general a UV air purifier can actually it kills one of the benefits is it kills airborne viruses and bacteria that's something that it's been proven to do and so when you put in some sort of UV air sterilization equipment into your home it can actually increase the health of the home so you're less likely if you have you know 
a bunch of germy kids running around, you have, you're less likely to get sick because you have that air purification or it's help scrubbing the air a little bit when that thing is running. Now, some people think this is a little bit gimmicky. I'm kind of on the offense. I have to take their word for it when I look at the manuals and see the reduction of, you know, airborne particulates or viral matter measured that's in the air. So I believe they do make a difference. That's kind of the science and the data that's out there. It shows that these do actually make a difference. And so if you put one of these on your system, it will definitely reduce things like airborne bacteria and viruses. And for that reason alone, I think it's great to just have a healthier and more comfortable home. And if you can accomplish that just by a uh, relatively cost-effective add-on that you can pop into the ductwork, uh, like a Remy Halo, then I think it's actually a great bang for your buck. It's not something super expensive that's over the top. The maintenance on it is very light. It often involves changing a bulb. They recommend it every two years, but you can kind of test that for yourself depending on your use and how much use it's getting. And the bulb itself is a DIY item. In my opinion, it's very easy. If you could change a light bulb in your house, you can change a light bulb in your HVAC. But those are some of my recommendations in terms of the top three upgrades that I think every HVAC system should have, or you should at least consider if those things are important to you. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service so you can stay up to date when we start servicing your metro. So hopefully you found this information helpful and if you did please make sure you smash that like button and again consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and as promised earlier there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now so make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already and we'll catch you on the next episode.